So many of you have asked how we planted over 20,000 trees this spring in a matter of days. I'm going to give you a quick walk around on our transplanter. Um, this is a Forester tree transplanter. It was made in the late 1970s in Wisconsin. There's thousands and thousands of them in the United States. Um, the NRCS tends to have this model, Natural Resource Conservation Service, and this model was purchased um, from the Army Corps of Engineers, which they undoubtedly got from the old NRCS model. It's been modified a little bit, and I want to walk through what we've done to modify it. Uh, first thing on this thing is that you realize the shoe on it is made to dive, so it tends to bury itself in soil so it can be planted into an existing sod versus having to till up a bed and then going through it. That's really important, especially if you have a lower horsepower tractor. It makes it a lot easier to operate. It has a replaceable point on it. This is actually a cultivator shoe that bolts on and off. You'll see these plow bolts on the front with smooth faces. So when this thing has been used for a little bit, it's polished up, has bright steel. It does have a coulter on the front of it, which slices through sod. Uh, makes it a lot easier to transplant, again, using less horsepower. And you'll see these footholds here. When this was originally made, it had a seat right here that faced forward. So that you would put the plants in, put a tree in, in the shoe there, and it would pass directly below you. But the seat was right here, so it would bend the tree trunks back and scrape the bark underneath you. It was very awkward to use, not good for the trees, not good for the operator. And we've modified it with two operator seats seating rearward, and then cut out this steel plate that originally had the seat here, so that now the trees can be planted with two operators, uh, so twice as fast and you don't miss a beat. And then when the tree goes into the shoe, bare root, and into the soil, the tires are, act as packing wheels and pack the soil behind it, then it can pass through this gate here, you know, the Arc de Triomphe, and, and it won't impinge on the tree. So you can plant uh, taller bare root trees and they're a lot happier and their bark stays happier. These boxes on either side are to hold water and soil and fungal action to keep the trees moist as they go in. Again, we plant 99% bare root trees with this device. And these back hoops, we can put trash cans in, smaller, you know, tall kitchen trash cans for extra trees. It'll hold them all in there. So we can fit a few hundred on as we go before we have to refill. Uh, going to the front here, this was also modified, kind of a backyard uh, hacked way for a, a, a quick hitch. So we just use some, some collars on a solid rod, cold rolled steel, um, and we can now use a quick hitch to hook up to it to get in and out quickly. So that's it. This is the modified Forester tree transplanter. So originally made by a utility tool and body company in Clintonville, Wisconsin, where my family actually hails from originally. It's made in uh, 1982. So they made these from the mid 70s through early 80s. The company's now defunct from what I gather, um, but they're widely available. And if you don't want to buy one, the NRCS often rents one of these for free or for $25 a day, something like that. You just have to be on their mailing list or their the waiting list. Um, but again, I, I advocate buying a transplanter so you have it when you want to use it. Because just like everything else, when you want to rent one, everyone else wants it on the same day. And these things, there's not much they can break on them. And if you get a good buy on it, you can always sell it for what you have into it pretty easily. Um, Craigslist.com, and I, I like searchtempest.com to find things on Craigslist. So if you go to searchtempest.com, type in your zip code and just look for a tree planter or tree transplanter. Uh, if you look for tree planter, you're more likely to find one of these units. This is a transplanter, which would be a, uh, like a, for bald and burlap um, type, type arrangement. So Grant Schultz, Versaland.com, tree transplanter, easily do 6,000 trees a day. Talk soon.